Megan Shirley said she had seconds to get to safety after she saw what was coming and she and her family are lucky to be alive today. And this is why, because part of her roof is missing. The inside of her home looks like a war zone, but her, her best friend, four kids and the dog took shelter in a bathroom until it was over. I was outside when the tornado was coming. I was actually back there shuddering. So that's where my son and I were when it happened and I ran in through this and she, my best friend, was sitting right here okay. where the impaled glass on the wall is. Wellington mom Megan Shirley is still trying to come to grips with how close her and her family came to dying when a tornado tore through her home at the corner of Edgefield Road and Meadowwood Drive. The damage to her house is obvious from down the block, but the destruction inside is worse. So be careful. There's lots of glass. So just obviously come in at your own uh, discretion. It looks like a war zone. So there was a separate room in the back, the red. You can see the delineation of the colors. And then the front part of the room was my bedroom. Glass, toys, pieces of furniture are everywhere. Her walls are bent. And Megan tells me this all happened in less than a minute. When Megan got home from work Wednesday, she decided to go ahead and put up her shutters. That's when she heard a noise she will never forget. It's a low drumming sound, and it, it does sound to an extent like a train. And then the pressure change, the only way I can describe it is you feel like you're in a vacuum. Your ears are popping, your ears are hurting. Born in Mississippi, Megan is no stranger to tornadoes. So she shoved her best friend, their four kids, and the dog into this small hallway bathroom just in time. As soon as we closed the door to the bathroom, it hit. And we actually thought we were okay because the bathroom itself was intact. And as everything is calming down, we look down, we see a bunch of glass. We're trying to figure out where it came from. And we opened the door and I looked up to what is supposed to be a hallway and there was sunlight. From floor to ceiling, nothing was spared. Even her hurricane proof windows blew out, but her family is safe. It's just stuff like, yeah, it sucks. And my kids are going to have a new normal and we're going to have a different place to live for a while. And there will be transitions for now. With the help of volunteers from the Wellington High School football team, she's cleaning up and collecting a few precious mementos. Somebody found that for me. Um, I was able to get a few odds and ends that are just super important for us and you know, try to keep the things that we can that remind us of the old normal. For now, Megan and her kids are staying with friends and she's going to have to find a temporary place to live. But she says she plans on living at this house. But of course, it's going to take a while considering all the damage. Now, I want to show you some of the debris that the Wellington football team helped her pick up. This is all from her house. And this is only a fraction of what we're seeing or what was collected today. Because again, it's not very safe to be in that house. But Megan's house wasn't the only one that got hit. This house across the street also has some damage, some, some shingles missing on this home, but nothing compared to what Megan had. Uh, it's been a big effort from the neighborhood today. We've seen lawn care services coming out, neighbors checking in on each other, seeing how each other is doing. And Megan, very lucky to be alive tonight. It was her quick thinking that saved her family. Reporting in Wellington, Florida, I'm Victoria DeGardenis. I'm Jim Grimes. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.